Hello, it's me. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Uh, I haven't done this for a while. I've been very busy. Um, so I thought it was about time I did something. Um, this is the uh, the PS Vita version of Little Big Planet. So I'm going to play it a bit. Um, I'm not playing it on a Vita. Um, which is why there's a big cursor whenever I touch the thing. And I haven't quite worked out, here we go, how the the back touch thing works. And it's all very complicated and I'm not going to try and explain it because uh, Google Google is, is pretty good. Anyway, um, I did do, what, oh, how does this work? I haven't played this for so long. Um, I uploaded a video of the first, the introduction level, uh, so I probably won't bother doing it again. Oh, fuck it, I'll do it again. Um, <laughs> how do I play? Tap. Tap. There we go. Okay. Um, yes, I said fuck. I'm not, uh, I'm not listening to YouTube's advertiser rules because I couldn't give a shit. I don't, I don't have any adverts, um, apart from when I've had like copyright things, but I haven't put any adverts on myself, so if the advertisers don't like me saying cunt, then they can cunt off for all I care. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Um, Oh god, I need that is very loud in my ears. Um like I could just call it uh Little Big Planet Vita Part One, but then that would uh that would suggest there's gonna be a part two and I don't know if there is. So maybe I'll wait. I'll do it like Star Wars. I won't put I won't put an episode number in this until I know there's gonna be a uh, sequel. And I'm already trapped. Okay. So um God, it's been a while. <laughs> I've I've been very busy um, doing things in real life, uh, being a grown-up with uh, responsibilities and that. And uh, what's this? Fashionable. I think I'm already pretty fashionable. Okay. <clears throat> See, my this costume is. 100% oh you can't you can't zoom in never mind um 100% DLC so it means I can use the same costume on every game apart from uh PSP and uh Little Big Planet 1 because this jacket and these trousers were not in the game uh I don't believe Anyway, what is this? I've already done this whole level, and it's uh, pretty good. <clears throat> so, Little Big Planet PSP is dead. The servers are down. It's gone forever. Um, I did download a load of levels before the servers went off, and I've got a list somewhere of levels that people asked me to do videos of, so I will get round to that at some point in the future. Maybe. Um, I will get back to doing this more regularly. I've just had a very busy few weeks. Um, Little Big Planet Karting also was supposed to go offline at the end of August, but I've, I've heard some reports that it's actually still online, so I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know if anyone knows what's happening with that. I don't know if Sony knows anything about it. Um, Little Big Planet Karting just kind of seemed to disappear after uh, our old buddy Confused Cartman left. But I don't really know what happened. Um, and I'm not paying attention to this cutscene. I probably should. I can't really remember the plot of this uh, this game. I remember the big twist at the end. Um, I'm not gonna 
spoil it, but I I do remember the twist. So that's good. God, this game looks pretty good on my TV actually. Um, you're not supposed to be able to play this game on a PlayStation TV. Um, and really, the only reason why they don't want you to play it is because um, there's there's tilt controls in this game. I'm pretty sure they turn up at some point in the story levels, and you know, you can use tilt controls in your own levels. So they don't want people who only have a PS TV and not a Vita to be able to play this game because they won't be able to finish it. They won't be able to you know get the full experience. So that's fair enough. Um, I'm playing it with a DualShock 4, so I can just use the touchpad on that as the touchscreen. And then you press the, uh, you press R3 and you get these, these things, which I think are the back touch. I'm not really sure how it works, um, but we'll find out. So, but I don't understand why, if it's possible to, um, to use the touchpad of the DualShock 4 as the touchscreen of the Vita, why can't you use like the 6-axis technology as the tilt? I don't know. I'm not Sony, so don't ask me. Um, I'm, I probably uh, won't be able to record any community levels like this apart from the ones I've already got downloaded, which isn't many. Um, I do have Mr. Key Inc. and uh, a load of levels from a competition that Little Big Planet Central did a couple of years ago. Um, I haven't checked the current uh, PS Vita hacking situation, but as far as I know, I can't get online without um, updating my firmware and losing the ability to play this on a PS TV. So I'm going to leave it for now, see what happens. This is a very long cutscene, and I, I haven't been watching any of it. Um, what else is going on in the world? <clears throat> Not much. Not much. What was my last proper video? It was the uh, the seaside, seaside surprise, wasn't it? Um, I don't think at that point when I made the video I'd beaten my the high score on my other account, but I have now. Um, I think I've still got number one. I was number one and number two, but then someone beat my old score, so now I think I'm number one and number three, unless someone's beaten my high score. Uh, which is like 1.3 million-ish, I think. I don't know. Um, oh, this is a bit awkward. So is that the cutscene I've just watched? Why did it not... Oh, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, there's a train. There was a train at the end of that cutscene, wasn't there? Uh, locomotion. Come on, baby, do the locomotion! Do -do 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 do do Um... <laughs> I'm not going to start that again. If you want more of that, go and watch my uh, Uncharted 2 videos. No, don't. Don't do that. No one else did. You're not missing much. Um, see, that's something I really want to do. I want to do another live stream at some point. Because it's been ages. And it's... <clears throat> it's not going to happen until I find somewhere to live and I can get some good internet because I'm currently uh, in between houses. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. What is this? Is this a race? It's normally a race, isn't it? Do I want to do a race? Maybe. I'll find out. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I, I want to do some, some more live streams at some point because those... The uh, the LVP ones were so much fun. They <laughs> they were such a mess, but they were a lot of fun to do. Um, and uh, and I know people couldn't get as involved with the other ones I did. Um, 
you know, the Crash games and Uncharted, but just it's just nice to have people watching who can talk to me while I'm playing, so I don't have to wait um, to find out what people think. So yeah, Seaside Surprise, that was the last time I did a proper video. Um, <clears throat> has there been any more DLC since then? They they released some kind of previously unreleased Little Big Planet 2 DLC costume thing. Uh, I don't really know what that's about. And I haven't looked into it because I don't really care. But they did that, apparently. And there's going to be some... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Ninja Turtle stuff, which is exciting. Uh, not really. <laughs> I I don't care about that. It's going to be four costumes, which are pretty much identical, isn't it? But I bet you're still going to have to pay for each one individually. Um, but that's fine. I probably won't bother, unless there's like a uh, level level kit to go with it. But it's been a long time since we had a proper level pack, hasn't it? Um, I'm pretty sure the only one on Little Big Planet 3 was... Oh no, the, the, there's the Spongebob one, that counts, doesn't it? Pretty much. Uh, Spongebob and Journey Home. Did I ever do videos on Spongebob? I don't think so. Sorry. Um... Now oh, here we go, here's some touchscreen things. Right. Well that works quite well. That's easy enough to do. Um, what's this? I can do this as well. It might get a bit more complicated. Um, it doesn't feel quite as nice as the, uh, the Vita's touchscreen does. And also you kind of you kind of have to guess where to put your finger, so if there's any fast touching required, that's not going to happen. But it's going alright so far. It's going well. Um, so as far as I know, there's no real plans for this game to be shut down anytime soon. But I wouldn't be surprised if it happens this year, really. Um, it seems like with the um, everything that's happened in Little Big Planet 3 recently, uh, you know, they've started releasing stuff from Little Big Planet Hub. They're going to put challenges into the game um, eventually. I don't know when that's actually starting. Um, spoilers so far, the only one that's actually in the files is tie skipping. Uh, so if they're going to make them weekly, they're going to have to update the game before they add any more. So we'll see. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point they added the uh, Little Big Planet 1 and 2 story mode to Little Big Planet 3. Because of uh, just the way the new... UI looks and some of the things in there, you know, you know, I think it's going to happen. Little Big Planet 3 is going to become Little Big Planet Hub. A lot of people have said that, and people are predicting that more and more frequently now. So uh, I suppose it makes sense. Uh, it would be cool to play all the old levels in HD on a PS4, but uh, I don't know. It depends really because Little Big Planet 1 and 2 look and feel very different to Little Big Planet 3. Like, the motion blur in Little Big Planet 1 is so nice. Like, it almost looks better than Little Big Planet 3 does anyway. Even with the lower resolution, just because of the motion blur and all the nice effects and shit. So, actually seeing it in. Little Big Planet 3's engine might spoil it a little bit, but I don't know. 
I mean, we can pretty much guarantee that Little Big Planet Hub is never going to happen as its own thing, so it would make sense based on what that game was supposed to be, but we'll see. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the new UI, the new pod menu in Little Big Planet 3, actually. Um, I, I, I should have... Um, I should have seen it. Like, they've been working on it for a long time. Like, well over a year now. And I never got a chance to see it back then. Uh, I should have done, but I was too lazy to have a look. So I, I never got to see what it looked like until very soon before... Why am I bothering with these bubbles? Um, like a few days or a couple of weeks before it actually came out. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to use it until it was out, and I'm I'm not sure about it really. Um, I mean, it looks quite nice. It's quite. It's certainly less cluttered. Um, it looks a bit weird just having one planet in the middle of the pod, but whatever. Um, but like the thing that annoys me about it which is something I would have said if I'd ever got around to uh, getting involved with trying it earlier, is um, it's like they've changed all the things that didn't need changing and ignored all the things that did, you know? Um, well, all the things that annoy me anyway have stayed the same and all the things I didn't have a problem with are the things they've changed, so I've got to relearn all that. Um, I've I still didn't hadn't quite got used to the LBP3 menu anyway, so I never got used to Little Big Planet 2. That game, me and that game, we never. I never got used to it. Little Big Planet 1, I can cope with. I understand how that works. I know where everything is. That's easy. Little Big Planet 3, I was just about getting there after like two years of playing the game. I finally got the hang of it and then they changed everything. But like, once you go into the uh, the community menu, that's all exactly the same as it was before, and it's still just as much of a pain trying to find anything as it was before. So, what am I doing this way? <clears throat> so I wish they'd changed that instead, and you know, made that, taken that back to what it was like in Little Big Planet 1 and 2. Um, I miss the cool levels on Little Big Planet 1, that was the best, where you could just see everything on the planet and go around the world and find some cool shit. Little Big Planet 2 was alright, um, it was actually quite good because they had, you could see everything in a nice list and you could see hundreds of levels at once. Little Big Planet 3, um, the thing about Little Big Planet 3 is I've defended it a lot um, because I've never had any technical problems with it, right? And I've said it a million times that Little Big Planet 3 has crashed on me, I think, a total of two times uh, the PS3 version back when it first came out because I was deliberately glitching around with it. Little Big Planet 2 has crashed every time I've ever played it. So, you know, people complain about how broken Little Big Planet 3 is, and in my experience, it's not. It is by a long way the most stable Little Big Planet game there's ever been. Um, but, is it the best Little Big Planet game? No, no, definitely not. I would give that title to Little Big Planet 1. Um, I mean, the create mode in Little Big Planet 3 is easily the best one out of any game. Um, but everything else, eh, eh, the UI is has always annoyed me. Um, it's so hard to find anything. So I wish they changed the community levels, the uh, the community menu, rather than 
like the overall pod menu for a start. And also one thing I've been moaning about since Little Big Planet 1 came out is the fact that there's no way to see all the levels on your moon in a list. And they still haven't added that. I don't know why. It seems like the most obvious thing to do with the UI. It seems like the most obvious thing that's missing. But obviously someone doesn't want to do it. There must be a good reason why. That I just haven't considered. Because uh, I just can't think of any possible negative it could have. Especially for someone like me who makes a million levels never finishes any of them, never bothers to name most of them and just gives them different icons, it, I would have a much easier time finding them and thus finishing them if I could just see them all in a list. And I know that kind of goes against what I was saying about the uh, how cool the, the Little Big Planet 1 cool levels thing was where you could just uh, fly around the globe looking for stuff, but that's different because on cool levels, you, you're not really looking for anything specific. You're just going around the world. Look, oh god, I'm dead. Is that the first time I've died? I don't know. I don't care. Um, you're just going around the planet looking for something that catches your eye. When you're on your moon, you want to look for something specific. You want to find that one level you want to work on. And it's impossible with the current uh, menu. What did I do wrong there? That's better, okay. So I haven't had any problems with the touch screen yet. Um, I also don't think I've spent much time talking about this game, I'm just complaining about all the other games. Is Little Big Planet 4 going to happen? Or are they turning Little Big Planet 3 into like the definitive game by adding all this stuff from Little Big Planet Hub and if my predictions are right, adding stuff from the other games as well. Um, would they leave it there? Or would there be a Little Big Planet 4? I don't know where they could go with it, really. Um, I feel like they've done everything they could really do with the current Little Big Planet engine. Um, like, surely 3D would be the next step. Like Little Big Planet Karting, but everything. That's what a lot of people want. I don't know if it would work. I don't know if it would be good. And I don't know if it would be worth doing with dreams coming out at some point. I would... I wouldn't mind a 3D Little Big Planet 4. But I, I think I would still spend more time messing around with dreams. I'm excited for dreams. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be so good. Oh. Still no beta. I don't know when that's happening. It's not happening yet. But I can't wait. <clears throat> Honestly, I I can't wait to just... Like, I'm excited to see everything, but I'm excited to see just the tiny bits that I've already seen, and I want to see what other people think of them, because it's all so fucking great, but it's, it's still not out. I want to play Dreams, I want to talk about Dreams, I want to dream some Dreams. Ah. Oh. Discover great new levels to play on lbp.me. That's another thing they fucked up with Little Big Planet 3. <laughs> the old lbp.me was so much better than the, the Little Big Planet 3 version. And uh, like when they when they launched that version they said, Oh, I forgot about these mirrors. Those are very, very good uses of sackbots and funny head sizes. I approve of this. I like this. Uh, even if that's not how mirrors work, it's pretty cool. Um, a bit of a hunchback. When they launched the uh, the new version of LittleBigPlanet.me, they said, oh, this is uh, 
This is all very new, it's all still in development. Don't worry, it's not going to stay like this forever. And it did. They just somehow made it even worse. Um, haven't they taken ratings off lbp.me as well now? That is... I don't know why they keep making such weird, awful decisions. But apparently they don't show yays on levels anymore in-game either. They already moved the button, and now you can't even tell. Oh, it just I'm so annoyed. They keep making it worse. Like, I get the reasoning behind moving away from level ratings. I understand they want people to heart levels to use the recommendations thing, but... I mean... Fuck. That means... It, it Really, it means I'm hearting a lot less levels. They want people to heart more levels, but getting rid of the yay means I'm hearting a lot less, because before, if I liked a level and I enjoyed it, but, you know, it wasn't my favourite level in the world, and I didn't intend to play it again another point, I'd just give it a yay to show that I liked it, but I didn't want it to clutter up my heart at levels. And then the levels I really loved, I'd, uh, ooh, there's some stuff up there I haven't got. Um, like the absolute best levels, I'd heart those, so I could find them again later easy enough, and, uh, you know. But, now that you can't, or you can't easily rate levels. Um, I just don't really heart anything because oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired and hungry, and it's really hot in this room. Um, so I might take a break. I might leave it on the cliff, a cliffhanger. Is there? There's one more level in this. Um, in this world, isn't there? Oh god. My, my. How does this... Right, how the fuck does this, this work? Uh, oh. If we could okay, I don't really know what I did. Somehow. But I... The back touch Finally, does work. Um. So I press R3, and then... Uh... Oh. Okay. Good. That's nice and smooth and easy to use. Um, right, let's try again. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, well, it's not it's not that fiddly. Um, it's not quite as nice as the front touch where you can just you can actually touch, but um, it's all right. Uh, what does this do? Good. So yeah, is there is there one more level left in this world? Because if there is, I might uh, I might stop playing before I get there, so I can leave it on a nice cliffhanger and go and have some lunch because I'm starving. This is already getting to be quite a long video, and it's going to take so long to upload that I I can't be bothered to go on much longer than this. I must be close to half an hour now, I think. I don't really know what happened there. I'm not paying much attention to this. Is this the way I just came? I think it is. What the hell happened there? Um, I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay, I went up here. Went in the drawer. Came out of this drawer. Then... Am I supposed to go this way? Uh... Okay, I don't know why that didn't happen before. I wasn't watching. I was not paying any attention to what I was doing. And I'm dead. <clears throat> That's fine. This is only a, uh, a casual playthrough in which I am rambling about everything and also somehow nothing. This was a really nice game. It's a shame they kind of abandoned this as well, but at least the servers are still up. That's one thing. To be fair, they uh, they abandoned the whole console, not just this game. So, uh... <clears throat> right, I am ups 
upside down. What a feeling when we're dancing on the ceiling. Whoa, okay. So am I going back the way I came or am I on the ceiling of the way? I don't know, I'm lost. Where's the train? Is this still the train? I don't know. Um, is this a puzzle? Yes. And boom. See, I'm getting the hang of this. Up and over here. Scary spikes. Whoa. That's pretty satisfying. Uh, times two. Uh, I don't know how multiplayer works on the PS TV actually. Like, could I plug another controller in and use that? I don't think so. Um, and I don't have another memory card, so I couldn't use my Vita as a player to. But, <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was disgusting. Um, I probably should edit it out, but now that I've referenced it, that's, that's going to be tricky to do. Uh, building some stairs, play, create, and share, bitches. Uh, no, I'm not going to share these. I spent too long on these. You can build your own fucking stairs. Uh, oh dear. This way. Nope. Was this the level where I picked up those extra things? I have no idea. I'm really not paying uh, any attention to what's going on. I've still got a few things missing. Yeah, I think that's one of the things I, I picked up, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know. What the hell is that? I should be wearing the muscle suit, really, shouldn't I? I don't really remember what the... Uh, exclusive costumes this game had were. Um, like I said, my usual costume is 100% DLC, so uh, I don't usually wear the story mode stuff anymore. I used to wear the top hat, the Ringmaster top hat, but that was never in this game, so I didn't. Um, up, up. There is some stuff from the other games in this, but not not everything. Um, they should have made some DLC like they did with Little Big Planet PSP, which had stuff from the the main games in it. Uh, what is this? This is a really dark game, isn't it? In terms of lighting, <clears throat> and it's a bit creepy as well. I mean, look at this guy, Colonel Flounder. What a mess. Join me on stage for your final test. Right. I'm going to leave it there, and I'll do the final test another time, maybe. Um, I'm still not going to call this part one, so I'll think of something else, some witty title <laughs> to give it, and I will do this big final test next time I play. But there you go. I I done a video. I hope you're happy. You pricks. <laughs> <laughs>